that's the thing. My videos are not scripted and they never will be. And uh, yeah, there is that. So now we have the HPs here. As you can see, mm, these are really different calculators. You know, they have different uh, features. But uh, <laughs> yeah, HP, HP, HP. I haven't used these in a while. But okay, so first, when it comes to the software, uh, these two are essentially the same. They both have uh, RPM, they have the same RPM functionality. So anything you are able to do on the 49G, you'll be able to do over here. This one is 2003, this one is 1999, so four years apart, and uh, but you're still getting the same software. It's just uh, a lot faster here. You know, this one is a lot faster. This one was, uh, uh, was when it first came out, I believe, I don't know if they had several hardware revisions of these. You know, that's the thing with calculators. They really don't have calculators. They don't really have uh, the attention they deserve. You know, that's the sad thing. So, but, there is, but this one is a lot faster. However, there are some situations uh, in which uh, the 89 can be faster than uh, even the 49G Plus or even the 50G. I unfortunately don't have any 50G at the time. Uh, at this moment, but uh, I plan on getting one. If it, the, the, the ones that I'm seeing online, they are too expensive, and I really don't want to, you know, I really don't need it, you know. I don't need it, I just want to have it, you know. That's uh, that's why I don't, I haven't made uh, the jump for uh, the 50G just yet, but I will get it, it's just a matter of time. I will get it eventually. So now let, let's put these out of the way. So, as you can see, I don't know if there is a, uh, a, 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 an option to you know to make the graphing here like uh, let's see what I wanted to do okay so the uh, equations I was uh, the simplification I, I was doing uh, here we're expanding the polynomial here I want to do the same thing over here so let me just pause this because I don't want to make this video longer okay so I, I don't, I'm not even gonna pause the video so the beauty of the RPN is I always talk about RPN because it is uh, it's really handy you know it's really convenient when it comes to doing certain stuff so the beauty of RPN is that uh, you don't really need to deal with parentheses that's what I really love about it you know if uh, and uh, he it may take some time to get used to it but once you once you know how to use it then uh, it becomes really really handy so I'm gonna put this, this this equation on the stack right here. So that's what you do with the RPM. You always have to put your operation on the stack, and then, uh, 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 the, 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 I mean, you always have to put your expression on the stack and then do the operation or the calculation, whatever you wanna call it. Ah, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyways, I'm gonna try and do this live. I'm going to be slower because I am looking into this right here, looking through the camera making sure that you guys are able to see that so it's going to take me a lot more time than I would that, that, than it normally would if I was not recording okay so we have a uh, 2x cube so to do that put 2x cube here as you can see we have 2x cube uh, minus x square mm, we have uh, x uh, okay Make sure you see this x square. Okay, I messed it up. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay, so let me just go back one more. Okay, come on. Uh, let's see. Okay, I just raised it. Okay, let's just do this too. X cube. Hmm. I'm supposed to, okay, uh, it's already mistake. <laughs> uh, X square, let's see, X square, it's two X square minus X square minus 10. Okay, so this is the beauty of RPN, and then uh, I'm gonna put the whole thing uh, to the power of uh, 20. So as you can see, I don't, I don't ever have to deal with uh, with parentheses, it just does it for me automatically. Like, like I said, if I was if I wasn't recording myself, I'm just doing this. Uh, it would be a lot faster. And then if I want to expand that, I have the soft menu here. So I, all I gotta do is uh, press. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's see. I haven't used this calculator in a while. I've been really busy. <laughs> That's the thing. I've had HP. I started using the RPN uh, maybe two two months ago, and I'm always forgetting some of the stuff. I believe it's same. Yeah, symbol, algebra, then expand. And as you can see, even though this is a lot faster, you would think, well, you actually got the answer. 
But these are some really weird looking. Okay, yeah, I think yeah, this is the right answer. It is still faster. It's a lot faster than any of these two uh, TI-89. Remember, this one is technically older than the 89 Titanium 2003 versus 2004. But Texas Instruments still managed to give us a very slow calculator. So if I go back some more, uh, yeah, I just love RPN. And if I press the down key, it's just gonna take me to the equation writer and I can copy my stuff, you know, and uh, put it back on the stack and do whatever I want with it. Let's see, if I go here and I'm gonna try to, and you can, you can, you can tell that this thing is really struggling. I'm gonna copy this and uh, raise this whole thing, paste it here. And I'm going to press N at the same time. One, two, three. We are both thinking about it. As you can see, the TSA is busy at the bottom and the HP just got it. Yeah, so that's how fast this uh, HP calculators are. About two, three seconds faster. But in certain operations, like summations or summations or uh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot my math. Wow. As summations and, uh, and, and, and integrations, then the HP, in, some, in a lot of cases, the HP is going to be unbelievably faster than the TI. So, yeah, that is that. All right, so something else I wanted to talk about is uh, uh, the display. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier in this video, uh, the display on this calculator is pretty bad compared to what you get with the HP. Uh, as you can see, I don't even need to bring my uh, uh, these two closer, and uh, you can you the HP seems a lot brighter, a lot more legible compared to the TI. So that's the good thing about HP calculators; they don't really uh, they don't really skip uh, these really important things. I mean, the calculator is not color, it's not even backlit, but you see you can still see a lot better here. And something that I, I need to mention also is that. Uh, the display has a uh, an extra layer of protection here, so if this crash, in theory, you should be able to you know to replace this one. But even though it's not going to be easy, it is still uh, possible to. Okay, my camera is about to fall. It is still you it's still possible you know to remove this and replace it if it gets if it gets a lot of scratches. So that's something you cannot do on here because it does not have any extra protection here, you know, and the display is a lot smaller too, which is a really shame. Right, so okay, so now since I compare these two because uh, they are the same generation, I'm also going to compare these two. Okay, remember this is 1999 to make it even more fair. So I'm gonna grab uh, the first hardware version, which is version one, as you can see here. Version one is the one that doesn't have any clock. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna do this in real time. So the equation was uh, 2x squared minus x squared minus 10, 2x cubed. Okay, let's see. Wait, did I do? Okay, wait, wait a minute. Okay, I thought I did a 2x squared here instead of 2x cubed. Okay, so I'm gonna do expand. So this is the steps. Okay, you can time it for yourself. So this, this, this is this, these are the steps. So you go to algebra, expand, open another parenthesis. So you have to think about all this in your head. You know, that, that, that that's the beauty of HP. With RPN, you don't have to do that. You just gotta, you just gotta put the operation on the stack. Okay, let's do that again. So you do, you go to uh, F2, algebra functions are here, and you go to expand, and in your head, you have to do this, all this in advance. Let's say if you were to just do a 2x cube, let's see, minus x, x squared minus 10, to the power of 20 to the power of 20 you know this happens this, this happens a lot and just press enter as you can see it's just gonna put it back the way you put it in <laughs> it's not gonna give you anything and if you you probably be like, yo what's going on this happens to anybody you know even if you're good in math you know it can happen to anyone and if you press this fantasy then uh, you're gonna get syntax you know so the ti can be kind of a you know Usually people who use the TI-89 are, are fairly good in math, you know, because this is a lot of, a, you gotta do some brain gymnastic if you wanna, if you want things to work properly, you know. So you have to think ahead. So since you are uh, taking this whole expression and uh, taking, uh, uh, and uh, multiply by itself 20 times, so this is what you gotta do. So you gotta put an extra parenthesis when you put a uh, expand. It's gonna open a parenthesis by itself, and then you're gonna put another. Uh, you're gonna open another parenthesis, 
another uh, uh, set of parentheses and then I put this expression in it and to the power of 20. Now we have our expression here and I'm gonna do the same thing here. So remember this is RPM, you don't you don't have to do none of that. So you just do a uh, two uh can you see this? Okay. Two x cube, let's see. And minus x square. So we're gonna put uh x minus x square minus ten to the power of twenty. So that's it, and this one does it for me already. And as you can see, this one does not even uh, show you the textbook notation, but uh, on the HP it does it by itself. Okay, so now let's go and press N at the same time. So I go to same symbolic algebra. Uh, I'm gonna press N at the same time. One, two, three. Okay. They're both thinking about it. I'm pretty sure the TI is going to get it first because this was really slow, man. <laughs> As you can see, the TI got it. Yeah, but it, was, it wasn't it was that far behind, almost at the same time. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, anyways, this video is already too long, but uh, one thing I wanna compare before I end this video, I wanna do some graphing because that's the whole point <laughs> of getting the graphing calculator. You are gonna, you are gonna wanna do some graphings. Okay, so for the TI, you just uh, press at the diamond key, F1, and it's going to take you to this uh, we, uh, page, Y1, that's where you would put your functions, so let's just do something simple, X squared, shift it down two units, and uh, let's do another one, uh, let's do uh, the equation where... Uh, uh, two x cube minus x square minus 10. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do the same thing here how high is my phone my phone is getting up okay, so for this one you go to okay something i want to mention before i forget uh if you are in rpn mode to access the graph you have to hold this uh blue shift and then press F1. If you just uh, press the blue shift here, as you can see, if you just press the shift and F1, nothing's gonna happen. You have to hold it, press F1. It took me a while to figure that out. Okay, so I'm just gonna erase. Okay, I'm gonna delete this, delete this as well. Choose to add one, and it's gonna be X square minus two I'm gonna add another one it's gonna be two x square minus now nah, two x cube what okay <laughs> yeah this is what I don't like about the HP it's really finicky Okay, two x square minus minus x. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's taking forever. It is what it is, yo. Minus ten. Okay, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So erase. It's gonna erase the previous graph we're doing. So if we press draw, diamond key here, and over here is gonna be draw. Then, uh, as you can see, the 89 is going to be a lot, lot faster. Yeah, I don't have the right window for this. I probably need to adjust the window, but uh, yeah, that's not the point. But you already get it though. You already get it, as you can see. The 49G just got the first one, and uh, it's still doing the second one. As you can see, it is still uh, loading the busy signal at the top. Yeah, now it's just it just finished. So the 89 is about 10 times, five to 10 times faster than this. Yeah, this was really slow, like really, really slow when it came out, but it was really powerful at the time. Nevertheless, when it came out, so that is that. 
uh, let me see really quick. Uh, let me pause the video and check something. I was just uh, checking to see if uh, the HP had uh, uh, the same options as the TI, um, the uh, resolution, so uh, it could graph a little faster because these calculators tend to have uh, uh, the same features when it comes to graphing for the most part, but uh, it doesn't. I don't think it does. If anybody knows, then feel free to, uh, uh, to school me. Okay, so now let's compare the two. Uh, HP and these right here. Okay, I have both my equations, so now let's go and grab them. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Wow. This is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> this is unbelievable. To even show you something even more amazing is that uh, I can still mess with uh, the setting here in the window and uh, change this to, if I change it to 5 and go back to graph it. <laughs> it's almost instantaneous. But the resolution is going to be affected, you know, as you can see. It's, uh, it's, not, even, it's not that of a big deal, but earlier when I tried uh, uh, 5, you know, the, the graph, in, in some, with certain functions, the graph is going to be a little crooked, you know. It is still, it's, it's, it still looks decent, but, you know, that's, that, that's what I mentioned. It. The lower the resolution, the better the graph. The higher, the lower the resolution. Okay, so, yeah, enough for this uh, video now. If you have any questions, put in the comments.